Zack Snyder and company have allegedly managed to acquire the rights to the Snyderverse and will be announcing that it's coming to Netflix. If it doesn't happen, you only got yourself to blame if you believe this, but hey, uh, you never know, I guess, that's the thing. When we talk about sources, you guys know what I think about sources from people that are constantly proven wrong or debunk themselves or James Gunn debunks them. So it is what it is. Uh, we heard recently, yeah, it's going to be a big announcement. Zack Snyder definitely got the Snyderverse coming to Netflix. They've all agreed on it. Netflix is spending tons of money. They've seen the push from the fans, the trending and all that. I mean, it worked before, right? It worked to bring us the Snyder Cut. So I see the hopes, right? Um, I see kind of why people are optimistic. It feels like everything ultimately leads to disappointment. And if it doesn't happen, it leads to, well, this is why they're not doing it right now. And looking at Netflix's expenses, which are pretty high, and how much money they've invested and spent on projects, which honestly haven't materialized anything substantial outside of like Stranger Things, you know, um, it's a little rough. And you look at some of these other projects that they've put out that have their time to shine, but then end up disappearing and due to licenses aren't even theirs. For example, all the Netflix Marvel shows, that would be the same deal with the Snyderverse. If Netflix got it, they would spend their money on producing it. And then you give it five years, typical turnaround time for a license to expire, possibly seven, depending on how they structure a contract, it goes back. So they would be spending billions of dollars making tons of DC content that would then just automatically belong to WB and still James Gunn. And then they could use all that effort to just make it their own. And Netflix gets nothing out of it. So I think logistically you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully I explained it right and why I don't believe this. Again, I'll continue to say it though, stranger things have happened, especially when it comes to licenses, but it's just, it's hard for me to believe this, especially when the sources are known for fabricating at least 300 rumors a month and getting one right and then championing that they got that one right. Even a broken clock is right twice a day.